We are out in the pouring rain. We got some samples here. We're in an area where we found some really nice looking massive sulfides, pyrite, calcopyrite and arsenopyrite. We've since had some of this tested with an XRF. And while arsenic does skew the results of uh, gold, we're finding really good gold in this. So we know there's gonna be something, we just don't know how much. Um, so this is the ore here. Basically solid arsenopyrite. And you can see some pyrite in there, some quartz attached. This black stuff right there is arsenopyrite. Got more here. So under the XRF, these samples show super high arsenic. We had one that was 25% arsenic. So I'm gonna be washing my hands after I touch these. And uh, gold values were anywhere between 65 grams per ton and 230 grams per ton. So it would be nice if we had that we send these out for an actual assay, but my guess is it's going to be less. Oh, we know there's at least some gold. It's a nice angular boulder here. We just dug out of the side of the road. Pyrite, minor arsenopyrite. A little bit difficult to see because it's kind of saturated and wet. This looks like a scarnified rock, which is got some slightly silicous rock attached. There's quite a few rusty pieces in here. Some nice oxidation on it. We're finding a few samples along the road. So you have arsenopyrite, pyrite, calcopyrite, svalerite, and some galena in this one. This is a mix of galena and svalerite. You got arsenopyrite all throughout here with your pyrite. So another nice sample. And then if you take a look over here, we just found another big here this is about uh, 25 kilograms you can see the quartz oxidation calcopyrite and all this gray stuff this grayish black stuff is arsenopyrite this is really nice looking ore Really heavy too. I don't doubt there's some nice gold values in this. So right in here at the base of this telephone pole Obviously they dug something out of here when they put the pole in. We found some really nice samples. You got massive pyrite, some calcopyrite. These are awesome looking. Look at how coarse that pyrite is. You have half inch cubes. 
super nice looking. Take a look at this too. So basically these are all the samples we found. I've broken apart that bigger angular boulder that you saw. Basically what we have is a zone which you find massive sulfides, lead, zinc, silver, and some copper, cadmium. Transitions over to another zone where you have copper, silver. And on the edge of that, we did find some grab samples where you have chalcopyrite and arsenopyrite. So we're about a couple hundred meters down the road from that, where the quarry is, and up to the point of where you find the copper silver ore. We're finding all these samples like this, which is showing very high grade arsenopyrite. This stuff here, you can see you have a gang of quartz in there, and you definitely have some chalcopyrite. So there's definite chalcopyrite in there. You also have this other band here. Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say we got some good silver in here. Based on all the other spots, they have good silver. So we've done some XRFs on these and definitely shows gold. Although with XRFs, uh, not gonna be 100% accurate but we do have really good arsenic in here. Uh, values up to 25, 30%. Some copper, some lead. And these are kind of similar. You see a gang of quartz in all the other zones as well. Some sphalerite in there too. So that boulder was measured at close to 10 inches thick, so we know we have at least a 10 inch thick vein somewhere on the property. Calcal pyrite there. But no doubt there's going to be some nice AU values in these. If you take a look at these samples here, you can see how it's a little bit more powdery. This right here, this is also arsenopyrite. Good values in that under the XRF. couple portions from the big vein. So this actually was attached something like that. Again you have your nice brittle arsenopyrite there. Just beautifully banded. So lots of samples and definite promising area for sure. Those are the samples. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and take care.